PopCultureZone.com is an online shop focusing on hot new comics, including exclusive and incentive variants, CGC graded comics, and tons of other inventory, including pop culture toys and other collectibles, all at low and competitive prices. PopCultureZone.com ships all over the U.S. And if you are buying raw comics, they offer flat rate shipping of only $4.99. That's right, $4.99. Absolute craziness, right? And there's no taxes included, excluding New Jersey. Pop Culture Zone is also on eBay, where they hold a 100% positive feedback rating with over 8,000 completed transactions for this year alone. Make sure to check out the link to their website below as well as their eBay link. So be sure to give them a follow there as well. YouTube, what is going on? Chris with Journals Comics and Pop Culture. This is really, really awesome to be here today with all of you guys because of a few reasons. One, because I'm going to be opening this huge huge box filled with comics with you guys today and of course i got my right hand man red deadly um but as many of my viewers know i've been away from filming new videos as of late i'm trying to get back into things uh life does that to us sometimes but i'm here doing this with you guys and it just feels so good and uh it's reminding me of something that is very very important to me and that is comic books and this community so i'm just happy to be here with you guys folks if you're not subscribed to the channel please take some time to do so check out all the links in the description below as well but man let's just get into this box and how about a big shout out for red deadly who's been very very patient with me through my absences over the last few months but he is ready to put in some work today man he told me he said chris if you ain't ready to do it I'm not going to be mad, but he was he was ready to go. And on top of it, you guys might be able to hear, I've been sick for a week. Um, I do believe it was like allergies, a.k.a. sinuses. I'm telling you, man, I got trauma. I don't ever want to mow a lawn ever again. But here in Cali, it's been raining like crazy. And my grass was like, psh, you know, crabgrass, weeds, all that stuff. And I finally got to a man... And it killed me. I usually wear a mask because I do get hay fever sometimes. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this. Anyways, I didn't wear a mask. And it, and it hit me, man. I felt like a nasty head cold for a week. My face was hurting. And even today, I'm not really feeling up to it. But I got the package in the mail and I said, I need to go make a video. I miss you guys anyways. All right. So, a little information behind this huge lot i think it's an 18 pound lot of comic books good good friend of the channel steven and steven if you're watching thank you again for uh making this happen so this is basically almost a blind buy he had a, a nice set of i think it was man what was it 16 books 20 books something like that that i knew and that i we set a price on and I said, let me give you X amount of more dollars and you could throw in, you know, whatever you think is worth that value. And he said, absolutely. Unfortunately, it costs a ton of money to ship this. And he's like, man, I don't know if I can keep doing this, shipping books in the mail, uh, which just sucks. I don't know if um, UPS raised their freight charges again. Uh, not UPS, USPS, but... Steven's a good guy, good friend of the channel. I got books from him before, and he always has really good stuff. So, as you guys can see, this is awesome. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. That's a lot. All right, let's try to do one at a time here. I'm, I've am i been out of it, guys. This is... Oh, you know what? This, too, this is my first comic book purchase since November. Can you believe that? My first comic book purchase since November. Wow. I, I just thought about that. I, I wasn't even really conscious of that until just now. Well bubbled. Well wrapped. Man. Steven did the thing. Putting Red Deadly, Deadly to work for sure. 
I have been so out of the comic game, guys. You know, I usually... I mean, this has been a full-time job for me, and I haven't um, studied the market or been hip to what's been going on just because of what I've been having to go through in my life, man. But this just feels so good to be here in front of this camera. That's for sure. All right, I already see some good, some, some awesome goodies. Let's set these aside here, and let's start going through this. All right, so I think these are the ones... I think I knew about. I know it's taking a while, guys. It's going to be worth it, though. We got some good stuff here. Okay, these are in. All right, here we go. Here we go. And some of this stuff, I am going to resell some of this stuff, guys. Some of it will be entering my uh, personal collection. Lots of Submariners. Man, look at this. All right. Submariner number 51. And these are all decent, fine grades. 53, 52, I definitely have some of these, um, and if I can fill some holes in my, in my run, I will, 47, 55, so some nice, all the, you know, early bronze age from Submariner Volume 1, uh, 57, 58, 49, here with MODOK, let's set these down here, so uh, I did see Ant-Man, and uh, I would love your guys' thoughts on MODOK, I actually thought MODOK was, was fine, how they did it, you know, the, the movie was entertaining, um, but I it was subpar to me, here's number 49, I actually thought Modoc was pretty funny. Ooh, the the Creeper number six, some uh, D, some uh, twelve cent uh, uh, DC. This is a Ditko cover. Nice, that's a sick cover. And we got Avengers number one hundred eight. But um, I wanted to, I wanted to get more of King. I still am loving Jonathan Majors as King, but I wanted more. I wanted more of his backstory, and I felt they fell short on that. Um, I just felt like his place in that movie didn't even matter in terms of like what Kang really is and is going to be in the MCU. Uh, but you know, I mean, it wasn't horrible. All right. We got some, uh, Inhumans. This is Amazing Adventures. Oh, number one. Nice. And this is a nice looking book. Amazing Adventures number one with Black Widow. Number two. Ooh, these are nice higher grades. He's got very fine on these. Number three. Uh, number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Cool. Awesome, awesome. More awesome Early Bronze Age Marvel. I love Early Bronze Age Marvel. And uh, here is some more horror genre. Look at that. Tower of Shadows, number two. Neil Adams Story, nice. Uh, we got Batlash. Not familiar with this. This is a, a, a Western theme a DC book. Yeah, number five, number six. Anybody interested in Western, let me know. I'm not at all, unfortunately. I mean, it's just me. It's just my personal preference. I've never been into Western books. Never really been into Western movies, except for like those few, I mean, Tombstone. Great, great movie. What is it? Three, 310 to Yuma? That's a good one, too. Uh, oh, oh, we got some uh, McFarlane Hulk. Sick. Oh, this is a high grade. 341. I, I do believe I already have this one. If I do, I'll be putting one of them up for sale. We got Dead Man, Strange Adventures, number 211. Uh, some Marvel Team-Up, number 89. Nice. Some Uncannies. All right. Always love Uncannies. Oh, sick. 
Nice. We got New Mutants number uh, 100. I love the, the, the new team. I love that cover. Sick. I think mine's a little beat up, so that looks like a better grade. I might keep it. Uh, Uncanny number 184. Is that the... Is, this ain't the first appearance of Forge, is it? Like I said, it's been a minute, guys. Uh, the Child of Magneto, issue number 200. This one got hot for a minute and then cooled off. I forget why. Uh, Bishop, uh, two, 283. That's a second cover. First full appearance of Bishop. 205. All right, lots of... Uh, Uncannies. Cool. I can, and I have most of these uncannies, so I'll probably upgrade some in my collection if there's higher grades. And I do plan on having a all X-Men sale soon. Here's 173. Love that cover with Rogue back there. 174. 175. 183. All right, we'll keep going. More X-Men. Uh, 165. 167. 169. And 170. And 172. All right. Moving on. Ooh, do I have this one? Some Spidey action here. I think I might already have this one. But if I don't, of course I'll be keeping it. Uh, annual, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 11. Now we got some Avengers Annual number 8. X-Men Annual number 3. Avengers Annual number 9. Nice higher grade copies. Yeah, those are clean. Wow. Those are clean. All right. All right, guys. We're not done yet. You got your popcorn? How we doing? Man, again. And if you guys see anything that you might be interested in, always feel free to hit me up. Uh, send me a DM on, um, on Instagram. And again, I mean, not everything is going to be for sale, but... Anything you guys see that you may be interested in, let me know. I am still selling on whatnot, guys. I had a couple of little small small sales to get back into it recently. But I do plan on doing what I've been doing where everything is themed. And we have basically buy it now options to pre-order your books before they go up for bid. All right, some 15 cent Daredevil 73. Here's 66. This is a nice higher grade. Look at that. I think these are the ones that I bought right here. These are the ones that I knew about. Uh, 141. Uh, Samariner number 26. He's got this in a near mint minus. Wow, that's beautiful. It really is a nice looking book. Look at that. Wow. For a 15 center. Here's number 17. Man, I might send this in to get graded. He's got this in a near mint minus. Um, I see a couple spine ticks. Corners are decently sharp. Uh, I might give this a press. Look at this, guys. Hulk 116. Silver Age Hulk. He's got it in a near mint minus, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. Look at that. I, I'm not even going to take it out of the mylar right now. Here's another 15 cent. Look at this. Hulk versus the thing here. 122. Nice. I don't think I have this one. This one's going in the PC, I think. Uh, Hulk 176. Hulk 174. I have so many copies of this one, but it's always fun to see Spidey team up with Fantastic Four. Issue 207. 206. All right. Uh, King Size Thor, Thor Annual number four. He's got this at a near mint. It is really nice. I do see a little bit of blending down at the at the bottom uh, corner and down here. 
Uh, it is a silver age square bound. But it is a really high grade book. And that's a beauty. Might might have to think about sending that one into CGC. Uh, Thor 204. I do have my total complete Thor run. So I'll be putting these up for sale. I'll probably get these high grade ones. I might keep the high grade ones in if they're a higher grade than the ones I already have. 147. 223. It's nice. Nice looking book. A couple little spine ticks. Uh, we got Hercules 221. Thor 221. Got some Iron Man 78. Iron Man number 100. I don't know if I have Iron Man number 100 yet. I gotta check. I haven't looked at my comics in, in a quick minute, guys. 99. And some early 20 cent bronze age Marvel premiere. Love it. Number four. That's a beauty. Look at that red. Beautiful red cover. Uh, Marvel 2 and 1, number five. Nice. All right. We got uh, Ghost Rider number nine. Or excuse me, Marvel Spotlight number nine. So that is an earlier appearance of uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, Supernatural Thrillers number 10 with The Living Mummy. And this is a nice, beautiful looking book. Man, to sell or to keep. Because I don't own this book. And this is a nice higher grade looking book. Wow, X-Men King Size Annual number 2. Look at this, guys. That is absolute beauty. He's got it as at a near mint minus. Um, yeah, it is. It is clean. You can see the staples coming through the cover there, but you know how they are on the square bounds. It's normal where you get the little indentation where the staples are, but that is beautiful. All right. We are still not done. We got one more. One more little pack, everyone. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. Already. Already. This is a beauty. Beautiful Starenko. It's in a little bit of a dingy bag. No, maybe it's just the discoloration of the, of the comic, but still. Captain America 113. Silver Age Starenko. Look at that. That is awesome. Yeah, you can. I, it was a polyethylene bag, so I thought it was a little dinge, but it's definitely uh, more of a cream uh, fade or tint to the cover, but still an awesome 12 cent cat book. All right. Man, um, this another beautiful Storenko. This is a lower gray, but uh, uh, Nick. Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., number three. Look at that. Wow. That is awesome. I'm keeping that. <laughs> uh, got some. I just sold a couple of these. Uh, Spectaculars with Sabretooth. 116 and 119. Some Wolverine, number six. Nice. Oh, I just sold one of these, too. If X11 is watching, Shadow number one. This is the DC Shadow number one from the early Bronze Age. All right, we got some awesome Spidey. Um, Todd McFarlane. Number three. Oh, number six. Sick. Number seven. Number eight. Oh, that's a newsstand, too. Early 90s newsstand. Nice. Nice. All right. Number nine. Number 10. Number 11. Number 14. And the last Todd McFarlane for Marvel. Number 16. Yep. All right, Warlock in the Affinity Watch. Ah oh, man, he knows me that I love my Warlock. 
Here's number 10. There's a newsstand. Uh, Warlock Chronicles number one. Sick. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Marvel 2 1 number 63 with Warlock. John Byrne, Space 1999, number five. I think I might have that issue. Beautiful cover. Miss Mystic. I'm I'm not familiar with this, but this is Neil Adams. Nice. Miss Mystic, number one. All right. Dark Scarlet Witch, number 56. That book got a little hot with uh, WandaVision and uh, Multiverse of Madness. Ooh, Cerebus, number 11. Mother, Cerebus, Numbers and Daughter, or uh, Mothers and Daughters. Interesting. New Mutants, number 16. Uh, number 2. Number 90. Some early cable. 91. A 93. 99. And, oh, look at this. Deadpool. Number one from, what was this, 2016, something like that. There it is. And lastly, a uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Number 23 from the 2018 run, I believe. Or 2000, I, they've rebooted it so many times. <sighs> Anyways, awesome stuff. Steven, again, if you're watching, thank you so much for making this happen. Uh, now I got a mess, and I love it. So, the first comic purchase that I made in almost, in over four months, guys. Um, yeah, and I got to hang out with you guys and share it with you all. So, I'm going to go have a sneeze attack, I think, right now. I feel it coming on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, what you thought of the books today. And, of course, like I said, if there's anything that interests you, always reach out to me. My link to my whatnot is in the description below as well, to my Instagram if you're not following me there. Um, and stay posted for upcoming sales uh, because there will be a lot of goodness to be had. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Be well, and until next time.